Well, you know, based on the studies on animals, uh, there is a group of people called, uh, they, they call themselves cronies, cal calorie restriction with optimal nutrition, that basically they, they have decided to, to change their lifestyle and to, to basically to start this uh, calorie restriction program, calorie restriction diet, and they have been restricting their calories by approximately 30% less than what they were eating before starting CR with optimal nutrition so basically they are, they are they are trying to get at least 100% of the RDI of their recommended daily allowance for each nutrient so there is no malnutrition if they're not able to get it with the diet they are they are supplementing you know with vitamin D or other other uh, vitamins that are not you know that they can't find in food and they've been doing this now for an average of 12 years on average. So it's, it's really a long-term calorie restriction. And what we found is that these people, they are metabolically healthier, much healthier than people on a typical American diet. Just to give you a few numbers, you know, they have very low cholesterol, cholesterol around you know, one, 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 167, high HDL, very low triglycerides, very low blood pressure, 100 over 60, this is a blood pressure of a teenager, very, very, very low inflammation, uh, that is an important factor, you know, high inflammation, it's a risk factor for cancer, cardiovascular disease, aging, and uh, they have very low intermedia thickness, that is a marker of uh, uh, your risk of developing a heart attack. So the, 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 the thicker you know, your arteries, the, the higher the risk of developing a heart attack. And these people have very low intermediate thickness. They have a younger heart in terms of function. As we get older, our ventricle become, ventricles become stiffer. And we know from animal studies that you know, color restriction is slowing this progressive impairment of cardiac function and we we found that also these people they have much younger and more elastic and efficient hearts than age and sex matched people eating a typical American diet.